Welcome to Vitcher Academy. This video series was created to provide an introduction to the many devices offered in the Vitcher One ecosystem. In our first installment, we'll be reviewing the Vitcher One XR glasses. Let's get to it. At their most basic function, the Vitcher One XR glasses behave like a typical external monitor that you might use to extend the display of, let's say, your laptop. And just like an external monitor for your computer, they need to be plugged in to a compatible device. In order to use these XR glasses, you'll need to connect them to a source device that supports DisplayPort video over USB-C. For example, various mobile phones such as the Samsung Galaxy S9 or newer, certain handheld gaming devices such as the Valve Steam Deck and GPD Win 4, many iPads and MacBooks, and some modern Windows laptops. In other words, these XR glasses will not power on nor offer any sort of display unless they are connected to a device that can provide power and video output. Don't have a compatible device? Don't worry. You can pair the Vitcher One XR glasses with the Vitcher neckband for an all-in-one entertainment experience. Or for a list of some devices that we're confident will be compatible with the Vitcher One XR glasses, visit vitcher.com forward slash compatibility. However, please keep in mind that this is not a complete list of all the devices on the market that are compatible with the Vitcher One XR glasses. To determine whether or not your device supports DisplayPort over USB-C, make sure to review the manufacturer specifications. You're going to want to look for keywords like Alt-DP over USB-C or DisplayPort over USB-C. Now be careful. USB standards can be quite confusing. When in doubt, contact the manufacturer of the device you are hoping to use with Vitcher in order to make sure that it does support video over USB-C. Now, let's open the box. Inside, you'll find the Vitcher One XR Glasses zipper case, the Vitcher One XR Glasses, four nose pads of varying sizes, one 110 centimeter cable, one anti clip hair cover. Let's take a closer look at the XR Glasses themselves. On the left arm of the XR Glasses, you'll find a series of buttons. The smaller button, known as the Mode button, allows you to switch between several available modes that the XR glasses can be set to once they are connected to a compatible device. The longer button beside it is the adjustment button. More on that later. Let's first review those modes. One short press of the mode button will activate or deactivate the electrochromic film. For those of you unfamiliar with this feature, the electrochromic film will darken or lighten the outermost lens. Please keep in mind, although this feature is great indoors and in other low-light environments, it's not intended to be a one-to-one -one substitution for our lens shade accessory. If you plan to use our XR glasses while relaxing outside on a sunny day, you may want to consider adding our lens shade to your order and always having it handy by storing them in your Vitcher One XR glasses case. Next, with two short consecutive presses of the mode button, you can switch the adjustment button 
to control either the volume or the brightness. One long press of the mode button, about 5 seconds, will switch the XR glasses from 2D display mode to 3D display mode. Another long press will switch the display back. Three short consecutive presses of the mode button will take advantage of the three DOF sensors in the glasses and allow you to pin the display in virtual space. In other words, when you pin the display, it will stay stationary in virtual space while you move your head around. This feature will only be available if you've updated your XR glasses firmware to the latest release. Now remember, these modes and functions will not work unless the XR glasses are connected to and powered by a compatible source device. While we're looking at the arms of the glasses, both sides are equipped with directional speakers powered by Harman Audio EFX. And on the right arm of the XR glasses, you'll find the magnetic pogo port that will provide both power and visual data to the XR glasses from your compatible source device. Moving on to actually wearing these XR glasses. We have designed our XR glasses so that they can fit almost all face types. However, we understand that no two faces are exactly the same. Therefore, in the box you will find several nose pads of varying sizes in order to accommodate as many people as possible. In order to change out the nose pads, simply slide out one pair and slide a new pair in its place. The first time you do this might require a little bit extra force. Speaking of accommodations, above each lens are rotary knobs that offer support for adjusting the virtual image up to negative 5 degrees for users with myopia, nearsightedness. When the display is on, rotate each knob until the image is crystal clear. Speaking of turning on the display, let's plug it into a source device. In this video, we'll be plugging our Vitcher One XR glasses into a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. To start, I take the magnetic end of the 110 centimeter cable and attach it to the XR glasses. Next, I put on the XR glasses. I then plug them in to the USB-C port of my source device. After a few seconds, I'll be able to see the display being sent from my phone. In the case of Samsung Galaxy devices, it will either be Samsung DeX or a simple mirroring of the phone's home screen. Now, let's say this is the first time I'm using the Vitcher One XR glasses. When I put them on, it's likely that the image is going to appear blurry or seem like it's double vision. Don't worry, this is not an indication that your brand new XR glasses are defective. All that means is that you need to take time to adjust the display using the rotary dials I pointed out to you earlier. It's a good idea to turn the myopic rotary dials to one side as far as they can go. Put on the glasses, then close one eye and start adjusting the dial until the image comes into focus. Repeat the step for your other eye until you find that the display has come into focus for both eyes. Also, keep in mind that the Vitra One XR glasses can accommodate a pupillary distance range between 58 and 70 millimeters. The most reliable way of measuring your pupillary distance is by visiting your optometrist. If your vision demands a very powerful prescription, Vitra One XR glasses can be purchased with prescription lens inserts that magnetically attach to the XR glasses, like so. You can take these inserts to your optometrist or eyewear shop and ask them to replace the lens in this frame with ones that match your prescription. We've also partnered with eyewear companies so that you can order your very own custom pair of prescription inserts. For more information on how to order prescription inserts, visit vitcher.com. So, now that I have the Vitra One XR glasses plugged into my phone, what can I do? Well, that's totally up to you. Remember, at their most basic, the Vitra One XR glasses are an external monitor. So, at the very least, you can save yourself a lot of neck pain by sitting back and interfacing with your phone without having to look down. About to take a long trip? Connect the Vitra One XR glasses to your Steam Deck and play the latest titles with a massive HD display right before your eyes. Or start up your favorite streaming service like Disney Plus and catch up on your favorite shows. All while sitting back as if you were in your own personal home theater. Finally, when you're all done, 
you can keep the XR glasses safely stored in the Vitter zipper case along with its cable to avoid any accidental damage. In our next video, we'll pair the Vitter One XR glasses with our Vitter neckband. When paired together, the Vitter One XR glasses and neckband provide an all-in-one entertainment experience that is light enough to wear and take with you just about anywhere you go. And remember, for answers to frequently asked questions, feel free to visit our FAQ page at vitcher.com forward slash FAQ. Or for more comprehensive guides, instructions, and how-to articles, visit vitcher.com forward slash academy. There, you'll learn more about how to get the most out of your new Vitcher devices.